Good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar, DATMAIL Advanced, what it is and how to use it. The latest in an ongoing series of educational webinars from Windowbook. My name is Wallace Vinglis and I'm Vice President here at Windowbook. Joining me today, Steve Dowdy, Windowbook's mailing industry software specialist. Today's webinar is going to discuss some of the more advanced features and functions of Windowbook's industry-leading pre-sort, um, excuse me, post-pre-sort solution, DATMAIL. We will also see a live demonstration of DATMAIL given by Steve Dowdy. We are going to discuss a number of things during today's webinar, including the difference between pre-sort and post-pre-sort software, and some basic features and functions of DATMAIL, as well as the more advanced features and functions of DATMAIL. This is going to be followed by a live DATMAIL demonstration given by Steve Dowdy, Window Books Mailing Industry Software Specialist. With that, we're going to jump in now. First, let's have a quick refresher on pre-sort and post-pre-sort software. Pre-sort software is the software used to prepare the initial plan for a mailing. It includes such elements as address hygiene and move update functions, duplicate elimination, as well as the more commonly known function of sorting the address records into the sequence specified by the Postal Service in order to take advantage of various postage discounts. One of the key outputs of this process is the mail.dat file set. This is a group of individual subfiles which collectively comprise the relational database file that contains all the details about the mailing, well, except for the names and addresses of the mail recipients. Those are in their mailing file and are not needed in this, uh, what is uh, in essence an electronic summary of what happened during the mailing. Now, although we understand and recognize that pre-sort software is very powerful and a necessary part of the overall mailing process, we also know full well that the initial pre-sort plan can and does change, sometimes right up until the mail is being physically burned. Through editing the mail.dat files, post pre-sort software, like Windowbook's DAT mail solution, can make changes to the initial plan or mailing without having to go back and rerun the actual postal pre-sort step. Several common examples include changing the piece weights, accounting for spoilage, and creating partial mailings. Mailings are oftentimes run through the pre-sort software steps days or even weeks in advance of the actual physical preparation. At the time of pre-sorting, mailers are forced to provide estimated piece weights, but when the pieces are physically prepared, these weights must be changed to be reported accurately on your postal reports. Now, during the physical preparation of the mail, pieces get damaged or spoiled, and then get pulled from the mailing. Sometimes they get reprinted and manually inserted back into their proper handling units, but most times they simply get pulled and either mailed separately or just not mailed at all. Once again, post pre-sort software can be used to edit the mail.dat files so these pieces are not reported as part of the mailing and postage is not wasted on them. The last example we'll look at is a partial mailing. Now let's say the file run through the pre-sort step was 10 million records. Well, your mail shop can only prepare and palletize uh, maybe 30 of those pallets for those pieces of mail on Monday. Using post pre-sort software like DATMAIL, you can identify and report on just those containers that you plan to present to the Postal Service for processing Monday night. These pallets will, will get changed to a ready-to-pay status submitted to the Postal Service. What's then going to happen is you can generate the accurate pre-sort do documentation for just those 30 pallets. Now these three examples are just a few of the ways that DATMAIL post pre-sort software can let a user accommodate changes to the initial pre-sort plan and produce postal documentation that matches the actual mailing being presented for processing and the so in the previous slide, we talked a little bit about several of the functions that DATMAIL offers. Now we'll cover some more of them before having Steve show you how all these work. DATMAIL validates the accuracy of your mail.dat files as it imports them for further use in reporting. DATMAIL also provides for editing and generated updated mail.dat and mail.xml data. And as we talked about before, that mail allows you to create and submit your postal documentation to reflect what is actually being mailed. 